Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, we will look into how to get the conversion rate. Basically, if you want to send one away and how much is it in USD. So now let's get into it. And here, let's try again to run this function, get the latest price. So pressing on command S and now let's just try to uh, select the Injected Web3. The reason is that we are connecting to the external contract, right? So now let's select the this one here, the accept one uh, dot sol, and click on the uh, deploy. Click on confirm. The contract is deployed. Now let's take a look, and here we can see that this is the button to get the latest price, and here this is the price of ethereum right now so you can see the format right so basically the price is one two three four five six seven eight so this is the price of ethereum right now right with the eight decimal uh, places uh, at the end here so we don't actually want this all we want let's take a look here uh, this is the simple unit converter so uh, one ether right here uh, how many digit of uh, weight Let's take a look. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So there's 18 uh, digits, right? So right here, uh, we can do the same thing. So all we want to do is to multiply this by how many digits? It would be um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, so this is the correct number and this means that this is now in way right in way okay so now let's take a look again let's try to press command s and redeploy this confirm scroll down here okay so right here press on the get latest price and now take a look again 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Right? So this number now is in way or uh, 18 decimal right here. Okay? So the next step would be to create a new function to get the conversion rate. So now let's do that. Function get conversion rate and this would be int 256 and this is the amount of ethereum if amount this would be public view return we returning in 256 inside here in 256 if price so we want to get the latest price of the ethereum we can just copy this function here right and put it into this variable called the price and this would be another variable called if amount in usd so this is the if price price of ethereum that we got up here multiply by the amount of ethereum right that the user want to send or to convert and now let's just try to yep get this first and return this in if amount in usd so let's just quick copy this and paste it here all right so let's try to compile this again and see what happened. Also delete these previous contracts. All right. Click on the confirm. Wait a bit and here it is. So right here we get to have this new button, um, the get conversion rate. And this is the amount of ether that we want to convert, right? So in this case, I want to say uh, send one way so one way is equivalent to this amount of way right 
So how many digits? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, right? So just copy this number here, wait, paste it here and click on the get conversion rate. But you can now see that the amount is quite large. So this is, let's just copy this and see actually what this number means. So this number is actually not correct, right? So we have to divide this by how many digits? Right here, we can see that this is returning in way, right? With 18 de decimal, right? So the same thing, we have to divide this by 18 uh, decimal places. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So this would be the number. So this is the uh, price that we want to have. So how do we do it? Right here, let's just divide it by this um, number, right? So it would be, um, there's how many zero? There are 18 uh, zeros here. Hitting on the deploy button, confirm. Okay, it's right here. Again, I want to send one way. It's equivalent to this amount of way. Let's just put here, click on the conversion rate. And now we get this number. Okay, so yep, that's exactly the same as what we uh, wanted, right? So now we have this, but is this um, actually the correct number? Because one way, it's only equivalent to this amount of ether. Is this the right one? Actually, it's not. So the right one would be, uh, remember that the if price, there's 18 uh, there's more tag to this number and the same for this one. Um, so this one also contain 18 decimal places as well. We have to do it again. So meaning that we have to divide this by another 18 uh, decimal places. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, right? And this would be the correct conversion rate, meaning one way it's equivalent to this way and then this is the price right so one way it's equivalent to this uh, number in USD all right and if you don't want to write in this format you can also do this uh, shortcut as well so 10 raised by this number right so this means there are 18 zero, okay? Let's see if this is the right one for this. Okay, the same thing would be sending a convert one way, equivalent to this in way. Hit this button and now we get this result. Are they the same? Yep, they are the same as this one. And again, there are 18 decimal uh, places tagged to this as well. In the next video, we will start using this get conversion rate function that returning this price right here. Thanks for watching and see you guys in the next one.